Inside the dorm room, a young student named Marty is bored at his desk. Suddenly, a voice comes through his walkie-talkie. Anyone there? I'm here, Chris. I couldn't sleep. How many times? It's Christopher. Been thinking about the prank? Yeah. Getting cold feet? Nope. Awesome! This is gonna be the best day of school ever! Well, I wasn't expecting this. Two other students walk over to Marty and Christopher. So, what did you two do? Our prank backfired. I'm Sarah. This is Cindy. Marty. Christopher, what did you two do? Cheated on a game. I told you not to do it. I wanted to win. It's just a game. You shouldn't take it so seriously. Well, you should. Otherwise, what's the point? Told you. He's right. Otherwise, the game just loses meaning. You like games? At the back of the class, a guy in sunglasses looks at the group. Yeah? Well, let's sneak out of here and go to the arcade. We can't just leave. Us all disappearing for a few hours, they're gonna realize. It will be fine. They won't be back until the end of the day. Trust me. The group all look at each other. Inside the arcade, Marty and Cindy are on the same team for laser tag. You got my back? Of course. I don't want the girls losing against the boys. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Marty and Cindy turn the corner and start shooting at Christopher and Jason. As they leave the map, Cindy is too busy gloating. Nice try, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's your friend? Sarah? Oh, I know exactly where she'll be. The four exit the laser tag arena and enter a room filled with various arcade games. Sarah is focused on a game. Good news, Sarah. The girls won. That's good. Sarah remains fixed on the screen. What are you playing? Wreckman. On the screen, Sarah controls the character, running around a maze, collecting pots while avoiding goblins. Almost got enough coins for an upgrade. If you press B while you get the coins, they will double. That's cheating. It's winning. It's not a true win. The game doesn't see it like that. You either win or lose. In the game, Sarah gets trapped by goblins. Aw, oh, crap! What happened? I died. Sucks that you only get one life. Yeah, but it's just the early days. Imagine what they'll be like in a few years. In the main lobby, a couple technicians are installing a new machine. Is it all up and running? I think so. It's a bit hard to tell. The instructions weren't in English. We did our best. No spare parts, so it should be fine. Great! I'll get some people to try it out. The owner of the arcade comes over to the group. Hey kids, would you be interested in playing a free game? Free? Why would it be free? It's a new game. The tech guys are almost finished installing it. I need some people to test it out and let me know their thoughts. What kind of game is it? Uh, it's something called co-ops. What the hell is that? Sounds boring. Haven't you guys heard about it? No. It was talked about in the latest issue of Laser Fan. You're the only one who reads that, Sarah. It's a game where more than one person can play. Seriously? Yeah, this one's a four-player. You guys go. I want to check out the store. Christopher goes off to the gift shop while the owner leads the others to the game. Here it is. You four will be the very first ones to play this game. Marty looks at the machine and reads the title. The Rise of Jumbotron? I'll let you kids have your fun. The owner leaves and goes off to the store to help Christopher. So what are we meant to do? I think we each take a controller. I wonder what it's about. Well, it's a new game. You shouldn't be able to cheat. Haha, <laughs> very funny. I just hope it's fun. They each put their hand on a controller and the game starts booting up. Anyone else feeling weird? Weirdo? No, I, I... I feel something. I feel it too. What's happening? They all get sucked into the game. Ah! After getting a new shirt, 
Christopher goes over to the game. Guys, 